Hi there, so I'm going to talk about a, an issue with iOS 10 that's been frustrating to me and if you happen to know anybody who might know how to turn this off or uh, change the feature, um, please let me know. Uh, so this here is on this side is an iOS uh, 10 device, it's an iPhone SE. This is an iOS 9, it's an iPhone 4S. So on the SE I have this problem where um, if I press this uh, the back button at the top there, if I'm too far to the left of the button, it doesn't register at all. But if I go a little bit over to the to the right, then it works. So I'll show that again. So I could be tapping it right there. You can see pretty clearly that I am pressing that button. And then as I move over to the right, it starts to work. Um, so to show that this is actually not the touchscreen being faulty, this is actually a software issue, um, I can press further to the left on this button here so you see me it's registering the touch is perfectly fine but if I go into this and I touch in the same spot I haven't moved my finger but the same spot will not activate that button I need to move over more to the right side before it'll start working um, so then you compare this to iPhone uh, 4S running iOS 9 now on this one I can touch basically right near the edge of the screen, like I'm just right on the edge. Works fine, no problem. Um, so, I mean, this is the this is the behavior not only that I'm used to, but also that I find intuitive. You know, if I press the button, if my finger has touched the button, then I have pressed it. While on the, uh, the iPhone uh, SE with iOS 10, I can absolutely press that button and my finger is absolutely touching that button and it just won't register until I go over a little bit to the right of the button. Um, it's actually even to the point where I can tap you know way off the button and it'll register but if I tap directly on the button it doesn't register um, and it is software as, as shown by this um, oh my gosh frustrating uh, as shown by the fact that I can go further to the left on this than I can on that button. So it's not a problem with the touchscreen. Um, another issue is happens on the uh, the bottom of the phone. This is actually where I first noticed the problem where it's very frustrating to me. When I'm tapping the, uh, the toggle button there, I usually tap right in the, the bottom of the corner of the screen. So you can see me like absolutely I'm touching it but I need to go f way over to the right. It's almost like the entire touch area of this button has been reduced by by half, really, because like I'm 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 touching that like as precisely as I can be. I'm I'm I need to be over halfway to the right side of the button before it registers at all. So this is where it's been the most frustrating to me because the autocorrect can't fix this this missed button press. If I go and tap that and start typing then I mean autocorrect's not going to be able to fix the point where I'm still in special character mode and I meant to be typing letters so that's been very frustrating and then again to show this compared to um, iOS 9 with a iPhone 4, uh, 4S I can touch right on the side of that button and works perfectly fine that's behavior I'd expect considering I'm touching on the side of the button but if I go over Back to the uh, iPhone uh, SE with iOS 10. I'm touching in the exact same spot, but I need to go way over to the right side before it before it registers. And that's uh, yeah, that's been really frustrating. So let me know if um, you happen to know how this could possibly be uh, resolved. Um, I suspect that this is something that would need to come a fix that would need to come through an iOS update. Uh, so if you know anybody at Apple, let them know. I think this this uh, this problem was probably introduced when they introduced the plus sized phones, which were uh, so large that people, when they're reaching their hand uh, across the device, um, they probably were hitting the sides of the screen with the palm of their hand, and. To reduce that problem, they basically just took off, and it happens a bit on the right side as well, like, um, let's see this cancel button here. I'm pretty much touching the right side of the screen, I need to come over quite a ways before finally that cancel happens. So let's say I'm on an, yeah, on an iPhone 4S, I can be 
right at the edge, right at the edge of the screen. So it's both sides of the screen they did this change. It probably has to do with the uh, the plus size phones and people accidentally touching the sides of the screen when they try and use it with one hand. Um, but I have an iPhone 4S, which is the exact same width as uh, sorry, an iPhone SE, which is the same width as a 4S. So I mean, I, I don't see how this applies to the iPhone uh, SE, which is a smaller screen size. It shouldn't need this. So anyway, let me know in the comments if you uh, happen to know how to fix this or let Apple know that it is frustrating for people with the smaller phones like the iPhone SE.